What's going on, Brews? I'm going to be comparing the iPhone SE 2 versus the iPhone 8 versus the iPhone 7. Now, each one of these phones has some similarities to the other, which I'm going to go over, but I also think it's going to represent a good buying opportunity if you're looking to buy a cheap iPhone right now in 2020. So let's get into it. All right, so we got the iPhone SE 2 on our left, the iPhone 8, and the iPhone 7. Now, the SE 2 right now costs about 400 bucks brand new. You can pick up the 8 for around like 200 ish, and then you've got the 7 that you can get for like 150. Now, the SE 2 and the 8 have glass designs. You will notice aluminum on the 7. Cameras, you know, basically all the same as far as designs. But, you know, as I'm going over these phones, if you guys want to check out the lowest prices, you know, currently available online for them, I'll throw some links in the description and comments. Now, I'm going to do my, uh, you know, standard you know netflix comparison here when you do a loudness test than a gaming test but i mean when you have these phones flipped over it's really hard to even see a difference i mean they all look they basically all look identical to each other they've got 4.7 inch displays you know lcd home buttons uh but it looks like they just put uncut gems on netflix so definitely recommend checking this movie out if you haven't watched it yet it's freaking awesome adam sandler's great in it um, but, you know, let's get these uh, phones lined up, check out some of the uh, sound quality, and then, of course, obviously the video quality, and uh, let's check it out. You're calling me weird? I'm not the one who makes muscles at myself every time I see my reflection in the water. Why is it that every time you play with magic water, I get soaked? It's not magic, it's water bending. And it's yeah, yeah, an ancient art unique to our culture, blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm just saying that if I had weird powers, I'd keep my weirdness to myself. You're uh, calling me weird? Look, I'm, I'm just saying that if I had weird powers, I'd keep my weirdness to myself. myself. You're calling water. me weird? I'm not the one who makes muscles of myself every time I see my reflection in the water. All right, so to be honest with you guys, the sound quality seemed basically the same on every one of these phones. I didn't really see a big difference there, but you can tell the screen does look better on the SE2, which you know seems pretty clear to me. Now I'm going to throw up some of this Street Fighter gameplay. Got to get some uh, you know gaming going on each one of these phones. So we'll start with the SE2, then we'll go to the iPhone 8, then the iPhone 7. This is an also also an awesome game, by the way. So check it out if you haven't. It's currently a paid game, but let's do it.
to wait. Will you be the last warrior standing? All right, guys. So after comparing these phones real quick on, you know, the Netflix, the sound, the gaming quality, I got to say, you know, the eight, I think is probably going to be the best iPhone out of the three for the price point right now. So I wouldn't even get the, you know, the SE two or the seven. I would honestly just look at grabbing the eight right now for the price point.